Hi everyone, it's Nick from Printerbase, showing off the type of A3 mono laser printer you can get if you're willing to spend top whack. If you're watching this video directly from YouTube, please click on the link in the comments box to see today's actual price. And here it is, the newly launched HP LaserJet Enterprise M806. This one is the top spec M806X with the added NFC or near field communication module attached. This was kindly sent to us several weeks ago directly from HP for us to evaluate and I've got to say that so far we've been very impressed. Now it's expensive but the first thing we all noticed is that unlike some of the cheap printers this machine oozes quality. The outer plastic shell is nice and thick, so it doesn't feel like it's going to snap or break at any moment. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this machine turns out to be bulletproof, not that we're going to be testing that. Now, when you look at the specs, you'll see that HP has tried to include the very best of everything, including a class-leading 56 pages per minute print speed, and unusually for a large departmental device, the option to add built-in Wi-Fi, which gives you that cutting edge NFC. Stay tuned and I'll give you a quick explanation and demo of this feature later on in the video. This machine has a colour touchscreen for ease of use, great print quality, a gig of RAM to ensure that even the largest print jobs don't fail, and depending on model you'll get either an 8 gig solid state or 320 gig hard disk drive, giving you features such as secure job release. And in fact, even in the most basic configuration, the M806 will still hold plenty of paper thanks to two paper trays as standard. Plus, the high capacity feeder option on the M806X will increase that capacity even further. Now reading the spec sheet in further detail, you'll see that this machine has PostScript emulation, gigabit ethernet and lots of other bits, but it makes for dry reading. So let's dive in and take a closer look. Hi everyone, the first thing I want to do is show you how to print from a smartphone or a tablet. Now ordinarily I'd be now showing you how to do it via NFC, the near field communication I talked about earlier, but let me show you what happens when I wake my phone up which has an N NFC chip in and pop it onto the NFC module here. Unknown tag type. Now. The problem we have is that at the moment HP don't actually support NFC through Android. I have spoken to them and they said they are looking into it, they may develop something in the future but they weren't able to give any specific dates. At the current time you can use NFC on Windows systems but unfortunately you have to do it the old fashioned manual way on the Android. Not too difficult, let me show you how to do that. So once you've woken the phone up, you need to go to your Wi-Fi settings. At the moment I'm connected to the office network so I'm going to have to disconnect from the office network. As you can see it's got HP Print 95M806 LaserJet. That's this machine. If you had quite a few of these machines it'd be quite difficult to work out which one was the machine you want to print from but we've only got the one so if I select it it then just asks to connect it's got no security so there's no code to put in and then once it's connected I can exit out of that and then I can print from the HP ePrint app so that bit of setup if the NFC worked I wouldn't have had to do I would have just literally gone straight into the ePrint app so once you're in the ePrint app it lets you search by file type. So I'm going to open up a PDF that I've already saved on this phone. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time because it's going to read all the PDFs that are on the phone. So once the PDF opens up, I'll be able to show it you. So let's just pop that down a second because there is an issue with this app that maybe there is a solution to, but as yet I haven't been able to find one. I'm going to show you it. So. Okay, so here are the PDFs that I've got. So that one there is the HP PDF. Now, at the moment, as you can see, if I press print on this, if I select the printer, okay, I'm 
as you can see it is a little bit temperamental so Let's see if we can get it to work now okay so not the smoothest application but I'm sure there'll be updates from HP that are going to get this working better. Now, the issue that we've got, when you send the job to the printer, if you come over to the screen, you'll see that it says load tray 1. There's no option in the ePrint app to select a tray. Now, tray 1 is the bypass feeder. So, the main trays are actually already loaded with paper so if I wanted to print from one of the main trays I can go onto the control and press the options and I can use a different tray instead but the problem with doing that is if you load the paper in the wrong orientation it comes out sideways as you can see here and we don't want that so I'm going to have to use the bypass feeder so to use the bypass feeder just pull this down. Now the normal way to feed A4 paper into an A3 machine is sideways because you get the best print speed because it's using the full length of the drum and it takes less drum revolutions so it's going to last longer so that's the best way but the app wants me to put it in this way around instead so let's put it in that way okay and it's going to take it, it's pretty quick to, as you can see to print any second now it's going to pull them through okay so the other issue that we've got with this machine if we can just bring you in a little bit closer you may be able to see that the text is very very poor it's very difficult to read now the problem that we've got is that there's no settings on the ePrint app to change the resolution and I've checked the resolution settings in the printer and it's in the second from top resolution which should be brilliant so obviously there's maybe some more investigation that needs to go on but this is straight out of the box so it should, in my opinion, work pretty much immediately. Um, maybe it works okay with other documents, but this is HP's own PDF. So what we're going to do next is get a PC hooked up and show you it printing from a PC. Welcome back. We have now got connected up to the machine a old netbook and I've installed the drivers and I'm going to print off one of HP's other PDF brochures. Okay, so I've asked for a few copies of this just to give you an idea of the print speed. This is in single-sided or simplex mode, so obviously you can do double-sided, but it will obviously go slower as with all printers. Okay, so it's saying that it's copy one of five that it's just processing now. And as you can see, the paper is coming out sideways on, gives you the best print speed. Okay, let me give you a close-up on that so you can see just how good the print quality is. It's very, very good in fact. That's on the second from top resolution. Now, before we switch off, I also wanted to show you how to do what they call a save job. Now all you do is you go into the print driver as normal but in one of the advanced options there is an option for saving the job onto the hard drive. Once you select that you press the print option as you would normally but it doesn't print out it stores itself on the hard drive or the solid state drive depending on what model you get. So I've done that earlier on it's in one of the options that says retrieve from device memory select that you can see there's a folder called Nick select it's the same brochure but this time this is printed uh, to the devices hard drive in A3 so when I press the green button to go you'll see that it's going to produce this in A3 so this gives you a bit of an idea of the A3 print speeds and if you imagine 
perhaps you're a restaurant and you want your restaurant menu to be saved on the printer you don't have to go over to a PC to reprint the menu you can just literally from the touchscreen reprint whatever you want you can store lots and lots of different documents on the hard drive and you just go and select the one you can put sub menus into the settings so that it's easy to store in a nice format we're now going to unplug the device and show you around the machine let's take a quick look inside the machine so at the front you've got a panel and when you pull the panel open it's quite a simple innards so you've got a little lever here so what you do is you just pull the lever down and it releases the toner and drum which is a combined unit now this is probably one of the largest all-in-ones you're going to see this will do 34 and a half thousand pages so obviously there's a lot of toner in here not too expensive a couple of hundred pounds so pretty good on the economy now as you can see it slides back in and it just locks in place like so there's a little twirly knob here which you just turn if you get a paper jam we've not seen any jam so that's about the first time I've done that to be honest let's have a look at the paper tray so these first two you get a standard with the basic machine and to open them there's a handle here that you can use and it pulls forward it does feel very sturdy I like that about the device it's got A4 in at the moment but obviously you can change the guides and put up to A3 in there second tray again you can put up to A3 in like I've got in this tray and then because this is the M806X it comes with these two trays now if we open them you'll see they only hold either A4 or letter size paper and the same on this size side as well so if you're a department and you want lots of A4 you could get the X fill these two with A4 and fill these two with A3 okay so you've seen the side here where you've got the bypass feeder this extends and you can feed up to A3 in there it does take slightly larger than A3 sheets but it doesn't go up to SRA3 generally for SRA3 printing you would want a graphics machine that's generally the environment that people need SRA3 printers in so at the side as well if I just show you here there's a panel and this is uh, gives you access to the paper path as it's coming from the trays so if you get any jams you can get access to it there there's another panel here which again a bit of a uh, a paper path access point there okay as you can see it's very sturdy I really like this machine for just how sturdy it feels now there is another output here so if you're printing mainly to the top tray and you want to print something off that doesn't get muddled up with this job that's coming out on the top you can send it to the side output instead so that's quite a nice feature now to get to this panel here you can open it with this connected but it does make it a little bit awkward it bangs into this for instance so what I'm going to do is just unclip it so it does come off very easily now here is where you get to the fuser the fuser is a big heating element that does melt the toner onto the page so you can get access to it from here when you need to buy what they call a maintenance kit it comes um, you access it here and it slots into here it's quite easy to get to all you do is you release this here you pull this out and there's uh, some blue switches there you clip the blue switches down and then that slides out and the new fuser slides in I'm not going to show you now but it, it is very very straightforward to do okay let me just actually I'll leave this off so that we can bring the camera around and you'll be able to see the power connection the USB connection and also the network connection where the USB network connection is there's also some screw screws that you can do and you can add extra bits and bobs inside the machine memory and things like that the solid state drive if you want to switch it for the big 320 gig hard drive for instance it would go in there so I think really that's all we want to discuss about the M806 if you've got questions get in touch with us on 0800 
1707234. Don't forget the website www.printerbase.co.uk. I'm Nick and thanks for watching.